Let's explore the options for rigging in Adobe Animate. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Intro to Adobe Animate 2021. In this episode, we take a look at rigging. Now, I've already made two detailed videos on both types of rigging that I use in Animate. So this video is really going to only explain what rigging is and how I use them for this animation particularly. Part six, shape rigging. So if you'd like to learn how to rig using the bone tool, head on over to this video by clicking in the link in the top right. And if you'd like to rig using layer properties, head on over to this video instead. So with that in mind, let's take a quick look at both options and then use layer parenting to add some simple shape rigging to our scene. Rigging is the act of applying a skeleton-like structure to an object and using that structure to control the connected object. This makes animating arguably easier and quicker. You can rig using the bone tool, which builds an actual skeleton rig for your object or character, or you can rig using layer parenting, which ties layers to other layers so that they follow them around. In this episode, we'll be using layer parenting to quickly and subtly animate a cactus in the background of our animation. So let's jump right into the software and get right to it. Okay, so here we are inside Adobe Animate. And as discussed, we're going to add a cactus to our scene in the background and use layer parenting to rig it and just animate it swaying slightly um, as it moves by. So to do that, we're just going to pop a new layer above our floor here. And we'll rename this one cactus because labeling your layers is always a good idea. And then from that point, we'll just zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to grab my color palette by opening up my swatches window here. Like so, and I'm going to grab, uh, let's grab this nice light green color. And for the start, for the time being, I'm just going to draw the main chunk of the cactus. Maybe something like this. Okay. Let's select that with V, hit F8 to turn it into a symbol, which we'll rename Cactus M for main and make sure it's a graphic. Then we can go inside this and continue editing um, so that we can isolate the rest of our cactus. Okay, so we have our main cactus selection. We'll rename this Cactus M and we'll hit F8 again. And now that I'm inside the cactus, I'm just going to call it CM for cactus main. OK, on top of that, we'll have a new layer. Uh, called cactus left and another bit called cactus right. And then on each of these layers, we're just going to draw the extra little bits. That come off the sides of a, of a normal cartoon cactus um, and making sure that we're drawing each of these portions on their own layers. Okay, and maybe what I'll do is offset this one just a little bit higher up. And we're just gonna make sure that these overlap a little bit as well, because we're gonna to come to color these in a moment. So I'm gonna fill all of these in actually, thinking about it, including this main section here, like so. Okay, so now we have a cactus on various different levels and layers. Now I'm going to turn each of these bits into a symbol. I accidentally just broke apart that main cactus section because I'm a I'm a damn fool. So we'll pop that back in from our library, just drag it back out and fill it in like so. So now we have three layers with three symbols, each one a different part of the cactus. Okay? So we'll go inside one of our cactus right layers here. Go to our swatches. I think I want a gradient overall. And we've got our gradient control or gradient transform tool that we learned about in the previous lesson. And I'm just going to drag it out so that it goes from light to dark. Okay. And we'll do that as well on cactus left, just to add a bit of variation to our colors. So we'll grab the gradient, we'll go to our gradient transform tool. Drag it out so the point where it connects the main cactus of the body, it's still seamless. Okay. And inside here, we'll do the same thing. But of course, we'll edit this gradient so that it blends seamlessly or near enough seamlessly into the arms of the cactus. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Let's stick with that, I think. I'll go back to my free transform tool. And we'll just move the anchor points of each cactus section 
so that they rotate from the correct place. And the last thing to do is just go back inside. I like to add a new layer on top. Grab my light green color here. And I'm just going to go around the edges to add in our highlights and also just flick upwards a few times to add in a few spines on our cactus. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here on this side. Oops, again, should be on a layer above. Just to keep things nice and editable, should we want to come back later on. So you can see we've quite quickly built up a decent looking cactus. Which we can use and apply some basic shape rigging to, to get this to sway nicely in the wind. If you wanted to, you could select your gradient and draw in a little gradient, uh, darker gradient spines. What is that one messing up? Like so. Okay. On the lower half of your cactus. And boom, inside cactus, we've now got a ready to go drawing. Okay. So three layers with three transform tools positioned into the correct places, which allow us to rotate our cactus. But as you'll notice, if we rotate the main section here, the arms currently don't follow it and we want these arms to be attached. So we can do that with layer parenting. So I'm going to turn on the layer parenting options here, like so, we're just going to open up an extra little panel and we want to basically choose which objects are going to follow which sections of the cactus. For example, this is quite a simple rig because the right hand side and the left hand side of the cactus are going to both follow the main portion. So we can just drag from the left um, cactus section to the main section and from the right cactus section to the main section. And it will create this little tree for us here. Now, if you want something a bit more involved, then you should go to the um, simple character rig video that I linked at the beginning of this one. And it actually goes and involves rigging a few more things in this. But basically for now, what this means is when I rotate the body of my cactus, everything moves with it, but I can still individually rotate the arms of my cactus to my heart's content. Okay. So all we're going to do now is go and do probably a one second loop. So add in some keyframes there, adding some keyframes halfway. And we'll have the cactus, or excuse me, I've got several things selected there. That's why that grouping didn't work. But um, select the cactus, just rotate it to the right a little bit. Go to this last keyframe here, rotate it to the uh, right a little bit. So the other one's left, sorry, my left and right's mixed up there. And we know that our animation is 40 frames long or roughly 40 frames long. So if we copy those first frames back, we've now got a cactus that goes left, right, and back to the middle. So when this goes to the left, we'd want to um, compensate by rotating these limbs slightly this way. When it goes to the right, we want to compensate by rotating these limbs slightly back, like so. And then by the time it goes back to the middle, it gets back to the beginning. Select all of these, right click them, create classic tween. I'm going to go to my classic ease window now, go to ease in and out quad just to give it a little bit of easing. And we've got a nice waving cactus in the background. If you'd like, you can do some secondary animation. So have your limbs be dragged behind your cactus. And you can do that by just taking these and moving them over a few frames, which means they start a little bit later. Obviously, if you hold alt and drag back, you'll get them kept in the same place, which is obviously quite useful. Just remove that classic thing. So now you've got them being dragged behind a little bit. And of course, you can then just reposition those keyframes as well. So it looks like it's being dragged by the rest of the cactus. So if we go back to our main scene, we can now see that looping. But we obviously need to um, attach it. So what we could do is we could take the cactus where we want it to be here, and you could layer parent it to the floor, which means it would move along with the floor. Um, but because we want this to be seamlessly looping, if we did that, we'd want to go and make sure that the cactus starts off screen like so. OK, and then that way it will move at a little bit of a different speed as well from the previous um, layer because we've we've repositioned it to animate further. So if you don't want to do it that way, you can obviously just remove the layer parent and do a, a same classic tween as we've done here with the rest of our elements. But since we've already animated it once, we want to reduce the amount of keyframes that we use wherever we can in our animation. So layer parenting means we don't have to add any more keyframes, which is great. OK, um, and if you want it to be a bit, bit further away, you can just keep continually tweaking it. And as long as it ends off screen, 
shouldn't matter too much. Okay. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. Nice, quick and easy one. Like I said, if you want a more detailed character rigging thing, it is a whole thing unto itself. So I've done unique videos on these already, which you can check out by clicking the links in the description or on the tags which are in this video. Otherwise, we've added just another little level layer of animation to our, our scene here. And uh, I think it just adds a little bit extra just being able to have that slight wave of the cactus as it swings by. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We are coming up to the end now. I believe next is working with sound, then cameras, and then exporting. So well done if you've made it this far. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. A colossal thank you to my level two and above members, Win62, Anonymous, Mel M. Hoover, Maybe Sharma, Ralaka M, Ian Costello, Dushant Singe, Lone Wolf 16, Starry Tichi, and Katmar. You guys are lovely and I hope you have a great new year. If you'd like to become a member of the Tip Tut Zone, you can click the join button below for exclusive discounts, access to the Discord, shout outs, perks, and other things that are really cool. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.